Yo guys, what's going on? It's Kyle Gamer we're bringing you another video today. And today, I'm talking about the season pass for Call of Duty World War II. And basically, is buying the season pass worth it? And so this video is basically going to be uh, for the people who usually buy the season pass or buy DLC for Call of Duty games. This is kind of to help determine whether you want it or not. And personally, I like the season pass and I'm probably going to be picking it up this season or this year for Call of Duty. Um, mainly because we're going to get a lot more in terms of um, content with, with the season pass. Um, so basically, an incentive to buy the season pass is overall you're going to save ten dollars, um, as if instead if you were going to you know individually purchase each DLC pack. Um, so the season pass you're saving ten bucks there. That's pretty decent. And um, in addition, you get the I know I'm going to say this wrong. You get the Carenton map um, and multiplayer if you buy the season pass. So that's another incentive to buy um, buy it. And so right now, that's already pretty decent that we get a free map, um, and you save $10 overall. And um, so now the content of basically the DLC. So we're going to be getting a lot more content this uh, year in terms of DLC, because if you guys know, we have the newly added war mode into this game, and if, you, if you've played war, you know that it's a separate set of maps from... Uh, the regular multiplayer maps in World War II. So these DLC packs, I'm assuming since war is like a big mode that Sledgehammer featured and you know promoted, I'm assuming that they're gonna have at least a new at least one new war map in each DLC pack. And not to mention there's gonna be the zombies map um, and the four multiplayer maps. And so the four multiplayer maps, um, it's always nice to have more maps, especially because I, I think Sledgehammer did this intentionally that there was um, only nine maps of the game because it kind of makes you want more maps. So I think that was kind of like a marketing strategy, you know, to say, oh, there's only nine maps. It gets boring quickly in the game. So, you know, if you buy DLC, you're going to get more maps to play on. So, and that marketing strategy is definitely working on me because I'm definitely considering picking it up because I definitely want to play more. Um, you know maps and call of duty because uh you know playing the same maps same nine maps over and over gets kind of you know exhausting um and then on top of that the zombies i think the zombies mode is phenomenal in this game i really like playing um on that map i think it's really intricate and um you know it's just it's just a lot of fun playing on that map so i think any other uh zombies map they add in is going to be good as well so that would be cool. And then the war maps, um, I definitely like the war mode. So uh, I think when they add new DLC war maps in there, it'll be a lot of fun to play on those as well. So in terms of content this year, you're definitely getting a lot more. You're getting at least one war map, um, at least four multiplayer maps, and um, one zombies map. So overall, I think we're getting a lot more. Um, in terms of content, not to mention the Carenton map, and um, you're saving 10 bucks overall by buying the season pass. So, anyways, guys, this is just a short video I wanted to bring to you to talk about, you know, the positives of buying the season pass. Um, normally, I say, you know, screw the season pass. I think it's dumb. Um, but this this year, it looks like we're gonna get a lot of content within each DLC pack. So why not save 10 bucks and get the Carenton map? Um, with you know the whole bundle of DLC packs so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope um, it helped you know sway some of your decisions whether you want to buy it whether you don't want to buy it um, you know and uh, anyways guys thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you on my next video peace